My name is Gene Allen, and this is a short video about remote desktop and data theft, and preventing data theft with FileShare, actually. Uh, we have a customer called in, and what they allow their, their employees to do is to work from home and rem remote desktop their office computer via VPN. So they have a VPN set up, and people log in from home, and they control their, their work computer, and they do their work. Now, there's a couple of problems with on data theft, and one of them is, is that you can't control the home computer. So in this case, uh, here is my home computer, and I'm going to remote control my office computer, um, wherever remote there it is, and I'm going to connect to this machine. Now, this machine is my office computer, and what I'm going to attempt to do is steal a medical record to my home computer. I'm just going to try to copy a file, so we're going to open up Windows Explorer here. And this is a Windows 7 Enterprise computer. And if we come to my computer, we have a single medical record. Oh, whatever. And there it is. And what we want, we're going to try to steal this file as just an example. So the first way that you try to do this is if you look, all the drives on the local computer are shared by default with uh, when you do a remote desktop. So this is my home computer, the computer I just came from. If we come over here, that's this computer. It is called Quad Proc. So what I'm going to try to do is copy some data into the temp folder here. So I'm just going to try to drag and drop it. And it says I can't do that. Now, the reason why you can't do that is because FileShore is stopping that from happening. So we're going to try a different way to get to the data because there's a, there's a, there's a connection between remote desktop and the work machine. So we're going to try, and I'm an administrator on both machines, so I'm going to try to connect directly to it. So I'm going to explore here. And this is a Vista machine, which is probably what people have at home. And we're going to go through, and we're going to try to go directly to the home share. Now, the home shares are enabled, but FileShare is blocking remote access to that machine. So let me, uh, let me, so we've shown that you can't copy a file from that machine to the home computer, and you can't copy files from the home uh, via, by connecting directly to the machine from the home computer and copy files that way. Um, I'm going to pause this video, switch over to a different screen, and I'm going to show you how this magic is possible. So we'll close down this remote session. Give me a second. Okay, now we've switched, switched over to our console machine, and we're going to show FileSure, uh, how we set FileSure up for doing this magic. We'll start FileSure up. Okay, here we go. And what we want to do is we come over to Rules Management, and we have two rules. Now, one is the Block Direct Remote Access. Now, if we edit the rule, what we're going to do is this is the rule to stop the guy at home reading files from the office computer directly over VPN through the administrative shares or shared folders or whatever he tries to work out. And how we did that was we said this is a deny rule. So it's a defend rule, and so we're going to deny read operations to all files for every user on every hard drive on this computer, files and folders, only applies to workstations, and we're going to include the program name called remote access. Uh, that's a special type of uh, program name filter, which means if, it's a, if somebody attempts to connect from home, the program is going to be empty because we can't determine what the program name is. So we have a special filter called remote access. And all you do is just type in remote access with the filter name. And we're going to deny read access. So, and this only applies to workstation. So this console machine, when I deployed it to the workstation, which I'll show up in a second. So we set our first rule up this way to deny all files for any user read access if it comes in remotely. So that handles the first half. The second half is to the guy remote controls to his home, I mean to his work computer, and then tries to copy files directly back to the home shares, the built-in ones that we saw um, a few seconds ago, the C on, the D on. And that's because remote desktop turns those local resources on. So, and the magic here is internally Windows calls that uh, terminal server client. So what's going to happen is we're going to, we set up a rule to say, if somebody tries to copy any file that has slash ts client slash in it, and that's the, that's the way that Windows Terminal Server shares those folders on the home computer. So we set it up to say if a file matches that, and it's a network drive, and it's any user, do not let them write it. There's the magic. Uh, this is something in 2.5. So we don't let them create it either. 
And that's the only filters we have. I mean, only rules and filters that we have. So basically, if somebody try, goes to their, they remote control their work computer, and then they attempt to copy a file to their home computer, it's going to come up with this file path in it because it's going over remote desktop. All right? So if they're trying to copy to a home machine, it's going to match this. And if it's going to be for right access, file store is going to deny it. So those are the two. Now, this console machine, what we did was we can actually see that what happened is I deployed to the remote uh, to the user's workstation. See, here's the workstation we used earlier. This is the machine that the home user is connecting to, and you can see it's a managed workstation. Both of our rules, if you open one up here, is designed for workstations and not for servers. So it doesn't affect this computer per se. I mean, it affects that uh, all the workstations that are relying on these rule sets. So I know that's sort of a complicated, it seems there's a lot of pieces going involved here, but basically what we did is we set up two rules here for workstations to be enforced, to enforce, to block writing to the home share and writing from the work, the office computer to the home computer and from the home computer being able to access those files directly on the work computer. And we've also, we have a, we deploy it from this computer or it files from this com work computer, I mean from the central computer to the work computer that's going to be remote desktop. Whew. Well, that's a lot of stuff. So that's how you can protect your files your work computer files, I mean your work file, your office files from being copied by somebody using a remote desktop at home. Wow.